Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Phoebe. If you've been here, thank you so much for sticking around. Before we get to the nitty and gritty, if you have not subscribed already, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you never miss a video because around here, we wanna stay on top of every single drop, okay? Anyway, today we are going to be trying out new makeup products. Ah, I'm so excited. So I got some new makeup products. I'm buying little by little because makeup is not cheap. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses, okay? Work within your budget. Anyway, Revlon came out with a new quad palette. Y'all know I'm enjoying quad palettes. Like the e.l.f. palettes are my faves. This is might be my new favorite because check out these colors. Okay, you can't really see that, but check these colors out. I got the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This is relatively new. I got the Soft Matte Foundation, also relatively new. This is not new, but I'm new to it. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm excited to try this out. Like, I've seen everyone use it. It's not cheap. That's why I've taken my time to try it out because your girl buy everything out of pocket, okay? I'm not on anyone's PR list yet, but I got it on my own. And then I also got the Juvia's palette. My boo, um, I don't know his name, but we follow each other on, we are subscribed to each other's page and we support each other. I'm gonna put his at down below. You guys can check out his page. He told me to try out the Juvia's Palette Setting Powder. I picked up one. I'm excited to try it out. So that's going to be the base of this tutorial. It's not really a tutorial. I'm going to do a makeup look and then let you all know how I enjoyed the products. Okay? All right, you guys, so far this foundation is amazing. I have nothing on except the Milk Hydro Primer and my skin looks amazing. Like it's matte, but I can still see some glow. Please excuse the pimple. I get a pimple every single time I have to film something for YouTube. It's crazy, okay? But this foundation is amazing. If you're like me and you are new to this, go get it. If you already have a NARS foundation, I promise you it's probably the same color. I wear Namibia in my NARS, I have it somewhere over there, in my NARS long wear foundation, I don't know the name off head, but I, nap, I normally wear Namibia, and this is Namibia or Deep Four. It matches perfectly, I didn't have to do anything. Only thing I forgot to do was color correct, but that's okay, because I'm gonna use a bit of concealer, but this is amazing. I am so excited to try this concealer next, amazing. All right, you guys, this is the concealer. I got it in the same color that my other concealer by NARS is in, and that is Amande. It's about one shade lighter or two shades, but I am just yeah. applying it.
my face is setting but the concealer is amazing it's just as good as the foundation um it's so i would say once you put it on do not wait too long i know usually we wait till the concealer gets tacky to blend it out but don't wait too long because it is matte so it kind of starts drying down if you do wait a while just use a hydrating mist spray a beauty blender and then bl um, blend out the concealer but on, on other than that i don't really have any complaints it's really really good let me zoom out because y'all are just like whoa all right so i know you guys are like okay so what about the setting powder the julia's place setting powder is also amazing it goes down seamlessly it's like butter i got the color gobi um it's not yellow it's kind of like um I don't know how to describe the color but it's not yellow so it's closer to my shade than a banana powder would be so once I blend this out and I put some face powder over it I know it's going to blend seamlessly but I have no complaints so of the four products that I did get I love every single one um, and I'm not like being biased or anything I've always been a fan of NARS but I've never really tried milk hydrating uh, milk grit primer amazing Juvia's place I'm getting used to it and so far i'm loving their products so everything was good i don't feel like i wasted my money because you know when you get these new makeup products when it don't work you save them boxes okay you save the boxes sis, and you put it right back in there and go to sephora like thank you but no thank you but no i will not be returning anything everything i loved it i did not get this from sephora i got this from ulta but these three yeah i got from sephora so to get started on this very extravagant look, um, I'm going to prime my eyes with the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. I'm going to use very little um, just to get the eyes ready for some eyeshadow. So I'm using a brush. You don't want to take too much because you don't want it to start creasing. All right, so I'm going to be using the Morphe palette for a transition color, but the palette that we are working with today is the Revlon Soul Fierce palette in the color Clapback. And the reason I'm using the Morphe palette is because this Revlon palette does not come with any matte colors that I can use for a translucent color. So I'm literally just using my Morphe palette to get a translucent color. And this is the 35 old palette. I'm using this color right here. And this is just for my transition shade. I'm using my Sonia Kushek, Kashik. I don't know how to say her name, but I'm using her brush in the tapered crease. This is the tapered crease brush. And I am just going above my crease with this brush. I don't really have a lot of eye space, so I make my own. I mean, I really make my own, but yeah. Start off with a little amount of product and build it. Do not start off with a lot of product. Even though you don't see it, I promise you it's there. So I already have my base on and I don't really want to ruin it. So I'm going to use some shadow shields just to catch any fallout because I feel like this palette may have some fallout. When you're working with shimmer, you have to expect it. So I'm going to use some shadow shields even though I already did my base. Better safe than sorry, you know. I got these from Amazon. If you check my Amazon storefront, you can actually find them there. I love them. I don't use them often, but the few times that I've used them, they've come in super handy. So they have like this little plastic right here. So it protects the foundation over here. So even if you remove some of the foundation here, you can always go back and just reapply it. So, all right, to outline my crease, because we are doing a cut crease, I'm going to be using this Elf um, No Budge Retractable Liner in the color Navy. Again, this palette does not come with any matte color, so I have to do what I can do, even though this palette is the main focus. So I'm just gonna take that liner and I'm going to outline my eye in the shape that I wanna work with today. We're doing a cut crease, so. So I'm following the natural shape of my eye. Only thing is I'm going a little above it. I 
All right, so I did what I could, even though my eye primer is being a total butthole. <laughs> now we're gonna go in with the actual palette. I'm gonna be using the Sonia Kashuk Blending Crease Brush. And I'm picking up that blue color. It's kind of, it's not a, it's not, it's a royal blue color, but there's a lot of purple hints in there. Top off the excess. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend out this liner. So you see, I don't know if you guys can see, it's not really just blue, it's a lot of purple. And again, we're just trying to blend out the liner that we just put down. So I'm just really going in and trying to blend out this blue color the best that I can because although I want it harsh, I don't want it to look like I forgot what blending was. So you really want to blend everything out. But so far, this is what it's looking like. We haven't cut the crease yet, so it's not too obvious, but you can see where it's going to go. All right, I decided not to go in with the e.l.f. primer because it was just too messy. I instead used this eyeshadow primer that I got from Amazon. Again, if you guys want to know, or if you guys want to shop some of the stuff that I get from Amazon, my Amazon store is linked in the description box. So I just used a bit of that. I put it on my hand and I used it to cut my crease. It's not really sharp. Um, but once I start applying the powder or the, the eyeshadow, it's going to clean up how harsh the lines are. But I'm actually happy with how it came out. Usually this, this primer is a bit too watery for me, but today it worked really well. So I don't know. I don't know what the difference was, but I'm gonna let it get a little tacky and then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. So what I'm gonna do in order to really pick up this shadow is I am going to wet my brush. And the reason I'm wetting it is because it allows me to pick up the product and it prevents that fallout that I mentioned. And I'm only packing it out here. I'm not going any further in. All right, going back in with the blue, I'm just going to give myself a cat eye. Next up, I'm gonna pack this purple right behind that first color that I applied. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm just gonna flip it over. All right, so we are done. I am going to move down to my lower lash line. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start off with the blue first and then I'm going to end with the transition shade that I use. By doing that grading effect, it doesn't it makes it not look crazy. It helps it look clean. So I'm going to start off with that blue eyeliner that I first that I first used. And I am going to use I said use. I'm going to use this little Morphe brush. This is the M508 brush. And I'm just gonna pack it on my hand. And I still have my shield on. And I'm just gonna put that color down here. And what the eyeliner is doing is, it's acting like a base so that once I go in with this shimmer color, it actually sticks and it doesn't move. All right, I'm gonna go in now with that blue color from the Revlon palette. And I'm connecting it. All right, I'm going to use a smudge brush just to smoke out my lower lash line. 
And this is much bigger than the first brush I used. This is the Morphe M408 brush. I am going to finish my face after I apply some of this beautiful color into my tear duct. So that first color that we use, we're just going to apply some more into the tear duct. All right, you guys, I'm just going to finish off my lips. I'm using my favorite lip liner. The NYX Cosmetic Lip Liner in Espresso. Because my eyes are so bold, I'm gonna go for just a glossy lip. I'm going in with my Revlon Lustrous Lipstick in the color Pick Me Up. I'm putting it in the center of my lip and then I'm just gonna blend the brown lip liner towards everything. If you want, you can leave it right here with just this, but I'm going to go in with my Fenty uh, Gloss Bomb Cream or Block Gloss Bomb. I'm gonna use the color, actually this is my Fenty Glow Color Gloss Bomb. And I'm just gonna put a little bit in the center of my lips. I just got some on my skin. If you ever get it on your skin, just let it dry and then flick it off. Don't forget to set your face. I'm using the Milani Make It Last setting spray. And what this does is just helps everything set in. It takes away any ashiness. And it also helps it dry faster. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'm really trying to get outside of my comfort zone. That's why I decided to do a cut crease today with you all. It's not something that I've ever done outside of YouTube. <laughs> I just really admired when I see it on other people. So I was like, you know what? If I admire it so much, I wanna learn how to do it on myself and then possibly teach others how to do it on YouTube. So yeah. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order a better primer concealer to help me achieve the cut crease look that I want. This didn't really do it for me and neither did the e.l.f. Um, putty eye primer. This actually was horrible. This primer from Amazon was the better option. I should have started with this. I started with this and then wiped it off and then tried to make it better with this and it was just a hot mess. But I redeemed myself. It looks okay. It could be better. Either way, I hope you all enjoyed this first impressions. All the products that I bought, I have no regrets. I enjoyed every single one. The NARS foundation and concealer, this is exactly why I love NARS because they never miss. Like this is amazing. I'm going to put a link down um, for the Sephora for the, the Sephora link down in the description box where you guys can get this from. It's not a commission link. It's just to help you guys get to it faster. The Milk Hydro Grip Primer, amazing. I see why it's so popular. This palette, again, I don't hate it. I like it, I don't love it, but it is worth investing in. It's affordable. If you are trying to build up your makeup collection, I would start off with affordable products and then go to high-end products. Like these are high-end and I told you all, I don't get these for free. I buy this out of my pocket. So I would start off with affordable products and then go towards high-end products. 
this Revlon palette. I believe it's like $8.99 in certain stores. I got this from Ulta, it was $10.99. Still super affordable. If it's beyond that for you, if it's too much for you, get the $3 eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. If you haven't um, watched my tutorial, I'm gonna link it to this video so you can check it out. <laughs> um, what else? Last thing that I got was the Juvia's Place powder. I believe this was like $21. Again, if this is out of your budget, you can always find a dupe. A great dupe would either be the Maybelline setting powder, um, Black Opal, Milani, Sasha Buttercup. You do not have to break bank for a great look. I was just trying to share with you all some of the stuff that I picked up to add to my makeup collection. This is just for me. I don't do makeup. I do my makeup and then I share with you all. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button. See you all in the next video. Tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their mama's friends to come check me out. All right, I'll see you guys later.